All right, it's uh, it's Jocktober, Ant. Jocktober, that's what we do. We don't have Rocktober. Mm-mm. And we've, uh, we already gave a tribute to Iraq. Yeah. You want to mm-hmm. explain what Jocktober's all about? Jocktober. Uh, we're going to be featuring other radio shows. Mm-hmm. It's a little odd for a radio show to feature the talents of other radio shows because uh, people in radio, they don't really like acknowledging other shows because they don't want people to start listening to them. You don't want your own ratings to go down. But we're so confident during Jocktober. Uh, we're that so these confident shows, with the crap we throw at you every morning. Yeah, that. Yeah, that this this <laughs> crap, this garbage, that uh, during Jocktober, we have no problem with uh, yeah. showcasing a different show. Mm-hmm. Every day. Well, for the next few days until, until we, we get, get bored, bored and then move or on to something lazy else. or whatever yeah. we do and, and just stop doing it. Yeah. And then people go, what happened to Jocktober? What? Oh, yeah, remember that? Let's do it. And when we say remember that, we for, we forgot that we did it the day before. <laughs> of course we're, we did. We're just the worst. God, we should be somebody else's Jocktober feature. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got... Uh, Stink. And then Jocktober turns into Cocktober later on in the afternoon because then our listeners decide to email... Pictures all of, right, pictures you know what? Yeah. of uh, big uh, roosters all, all over the place. That's right. Oof. So today, uh, oof, oof. this is Sam's bit. Sam, you yeah. brought us uh, a show called The People's Morning Show. Yes. The People's Morning Show. Oh, wait, we got an official sweeper for Jocktober. Oh. Happy Jocktober, everybody, from your friends at the OP and Anthony Show. I it's a celebration of hacky, pukey radio shows and DJs from across this great nation of ours. I'm wearing panties to this party. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a better antonym of hysterical. <laughs> Crank up the crapola, it's Jocktober on the Opie and Anthony Show. It was the yang for the yang yes. hysterical. It was the polar opposite. Happy Jocktober, everybody, from your friends at the Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah, like Steve, you and the hack uh, doing the hacky uh, morning zoo voice too. It mm. Sounds like Steve it all together, right? T- taking like one minute of audio and just pulling two clips out of it. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, yes. the whole segment. That's the brilliance of his production. <laughs> to be fair, that was Derek's lazy work. Oh, oh, oh wow! Derek's throwing his hands up in the air somewhere <laughs> now. Exactly with his dumb glasses. We have people working for the show like every. Where, where where are half these people? I don't know. We I got think... people in Washington. Now. Where are these people? Now we got people at Sirius, and we got people a block away. Like they're just in rooms somewhere, like making believe they're doing something because yeah. they don't have a boss. Uh, so we got the People's Morning Show today. Yeah, well, the People's Morning Show advertised themselves as intellectual and irreverent. No. So I was sitting there, and I'm like, so I'm going to get to laugh, and also it's going to give me something to think about. <laughs> a little thinking, a little laughing. That's a dream right. of a program director. Oh, yeah. So wow. I was sitting there, you know, this is going to be a good Jocktober for me. Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah, I brought some clips of what I thought was the most uh, irreverent and intellectual uh, things that they did this morning. Oh. <sighs> Uh, all topics Please. for all people, intellectual and irreverent, look at the day's news from the viewpoint of the people. That's right. why it's the people. Oh. That's, that's just like a Thomas Jefferson quote. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hosted by Nipsey Earl, Jen Uh-oh. Shade. Jen Shade, the whole? Yes, Nipsey Earl and Jen Shade. Jen Shade would be today's home. Does she disappoint as being the whole, or is she like... Following the, you know, we set the bar so high with yesterday's hole. Oh, no. <laughs> we really did kind of <laughs> blow it by putting her on first. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, she's still a hole. And they got uh, what? Talk oh, yeah. the talk. What is this? They they're coming up with their own lingo or something? Yeah, they like the vocabulary words. So they have three pages of single spaced uh, words with explanations as to what everything is. And this is um. Oh my the, God. These they use all the time, I guess. Dude, I that, guess so. There's something else going on too. They Yuck. they're they're starting at these morning shows. It's kind of like the Sunny D commercial. It's like right out of right, right out of Central Casting. They got the black guy. Yeah. They got the rock chick. Yes. And the all-purpose white dude with the with the sports cap on. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what this show is. Wow, really? Daddy, can we see a picture? I didn't of see a picture <clears throat> of them. I need uh, to know what. Th- they look like. Yeah. Just Google the people's show. Where are they course. located? <laughs> the uh, Central Pennsylvania. Harrisburg, Harrisburg, Harrisburg yeah. PA. Oh. 
Uh, well, uh, Nipsey introduces uh, Jen's news, then makes a reference to being intimate with a black woman for some reason. Who's Nipsey? The black dude? No, Nipsey is the white guy. He's kind of the what? Guy. How? How, could the, how could the white guy be Nipsey? This Everyone knows insane. Nipsey is. Uh, it's very irreverent. That's that's irreverent right there. Yes. Earl's the black guy? <laughs> yes, believe it or not, Earl is the black and, and guy. And Jen Shade is the white girl. See, there's well, the look, picture. At, look at Jen. She's a rock chick. Ah, uh, yeah. She doesn't take nothing from anyone. Wait, that's her in the middle? Yeah, she doesn't take guff. <laughs> She's horrendous. Yeah. Oh, look at her look, though. You know, you don't mess with her. The little okay. 80s. Something else she doesn't take, the morning after pill. <laughs> no one bangs her. <laughs> what a monster. All right, without, without hearing a peep out of them, we're off. Yeah. <laughs> we're off and running. Oh, she's horrendous. She looks like the bassist in every 80s like metal <laughs> hair band. She looks like Stephen Carr. <laughs> Yeah, I think she's, I, yeah, I think uh, the Toadies had a monster like that in their band. <laughs> the toadies. <laughs> Remember the Toadies? And Around the lake. And just so no one's confused, these people uh, it said zero about Opie and Anthony. We're just sort of... I don't give a We're just that. looking at them today. Well, it's October, so we've given yeah. ourselves a reason to do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Without needing them to really <laughs> see, we could beat up on other shows now without them having to even uh, yeah. mention us, yeah. right? It's October. Hey, why, yeah. is, why is Michael Anthony from Van Halen doing a radio show? <laughs> <laughs> Two guys. <laughs> that's what she looks like. That's really good. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Nipsey introduces uh, Jen's news. And he's the white guy, and he's talking about how he uh, was intimate with a black woman. Well, he, yeah, it's like a, a, a joke about being intimate. Which I wow, did Earl comment on that because he's a black guy? No, Earl knows this place. Oh, wow. <laughs> of course he does. I like this. Where is this from? <laughs> Where is this town? Here we go. Where are they out of? Harrisburg. Oh. The People's Morning Show. Jocktober. And to my right, the lovely Pat Dower and Jeff Hawks. <laughs> News from the X-Files with Jen Sheed. You okay there, sir? Bandana. I like the way that looks. Nice look about you, baby. Uh, I was in a hurry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sweet as always, Miss Shade. You look Shut wonderful. And the darker hair, Jen. I don't know. It's making me feel a little crispy <laughs> over here. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, baby! I don't know what the hell that's got to do anything with <laughs> juice. But, Where okay. do you come from? What planet? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, all I know is Wait, there was what? a lot of energy there for some reason. Well, you got to have energy if you're doing a morning show. But it's like wasted energy. Yeah. It's like sitting in your driveway in neutral and just <laughs> gassing it. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, unless it's in drive and you're, you're pointing your car somewhere, you have a direction. It's... It's a little uh, trick they do with morning radio. This is what you do. Go to a park today and just run around in circles like crazy, but don't really do anything. Mm -hmm. You're going to have people stop and look at you. Sure. And they're going to go, wow, something has to be happening here because look at this energy that's going Every, on. Everyone's me. looking. Right. There's a bunch of energy. <laughs> It's true, because the jokes aren't funny, nor do they make any sense. How about, no. I don't even know what they were doing there. Just there shouting. Was a, there was a joke in there? Well, the darker the berry, the sweeter. The <laughs> and a lot juice, of a lot yeah. of laughing that's very genuine. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, the yeah, darker the that. berry, the sweeter the juice. Which so that is was, normally, yeah. If but you I guess talking about banging a black broad, you would say something like yeah. that, right? Yeah, but she said she dyed her hair a darker color. I listened to the clip like six times. Yeah, so you I have guess to. She, it she is said, addicting. Yeah, she darkened her hair. Well, the first <laughs> the first joke is coming in because now people are finding the pictures of this uh, People's Morning <laughs> wow. Show. And uh, if you if you do the instant feedback from your cell phone, a little advice, you got to put your name so you get a little credit. We like giving credit on this show, yeah. uh, unlike other radio shows. Uh, Jen belongs behind a shade. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not very nice. All right, let's continue with the uh, the People's Morning she looks Show. Just like a fat Corey Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's horrid. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, it looks like Jen Shade combed her hair with an effing brick. <laughs> oh, they didn't waste any time on instant feedback. Uh, all right, here we go. Jen talks about the economy. Oh, okay. Well, this is one of the all radio shows talking about sure. the, the big topics. The Sarah Palin yeah. and the economy are, are two hot hot button topics. What they do is Jen will bring up a, the hot news story, and then Earl and Nipsey will kind of just riff, you know. Riff on the story. Yeah. Wow. So this part would be the more irreverent part. And no, or well, what would thinking, this be? I think it's both. It's supposed to be irreverent and intellectual because it's. Oh, like, all right. So this would be intellectual when she says it, and then they go irreverent. Fire? 
some kind of satire joke so you could think. And <sighs> all right, well, I, what, I love I love how you label this, Sam. What? This is one of my favorite part of the bit. Jen talks about the economy. Nipsey and Earl try to make it funny and or interesting. They fail. <laughs> wow. By the fail. Way, Gets the fail tag. Danny found it. She's, uh, w with darker hair, she's Ozzy on the uh, shot in the dark. <laughs> on his wow, ultimate yeah. sin tour. <laughs> You're right. Wow. Ooh, does that look just like her? All right. That's great. She'll be throwing a dove in the air, this fat, ugly bug. <laughs> and once again, we're not going to be invited to the R&R &R convention. Yeah, I know. What are we doing? Ah. We want to be accepted. Sure we do. Here we go. 100K to $250,000. Most recent version is expected to go back to the house for another showdown this week. Good, all right. The FDIC thing sure will help me a lot. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Thank you very much. I'm still lost. Modified bill? Okay, here you go. I went to uh, uh, the bank to uh, cash a check yesterday, and they gave me money, so I was pretty much happy uh, for the day. I don't know what today's going to bring, though. They did just look at you and go, sorry, I don't have any. No, they actually smiled. They should have a writer. The riffing is not good. <laughs> no, the riffing wasn't really uh, riffing. I went and got a cash check today, so that was good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, those were the jokes. <laughs> they weren't. Those were their jokes. Yeah, I guess apparently they were saying that they don't make enough money where the FDIC uh, uh, change would make a difference. It's not a good idea to do FDIC jokes. <laughs> no. no. Call me crazy. But... DIC jokes are fine. Well, yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> I got it, Andy. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Oh, I, I didn't e it. Well, you know, it still sounds like that, even without the other letter. Yeah. All right, yeah, should we continue? Or... <laughs> <laughs> this is a rough one, Sam. Well, they're tough to listen to, I know. All right, let's go with three. Jen talks about the uh, debate. Uh, no, another hot button topic. Very, very We did a little debate topic. thing earlier, right? Who's that? Who's that? The, the guy we're teasing. Are you kidding? I guess that's no. Right. no. Is that Earl? Are you kidding? That's, 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 <laughs> that's off the, the MySpace, it looks like. All right, look. Oh, mighty Earl is strapping. What right, is look, he doing? I, I have no problem with this show. Why don't we just stop now and play some Skinner and go home early? He's got an eight-pack. He's ripped. Uh, big long hands too. Or else a catch. That's compensating <laughs> for something. Yeah, that's a that's too much working out. All right. Uh, Jen talks about the debate. <laughs> Nipsey tells another uninteresting story about the Chinese buffet. It's where they get intellectual. All right. Mm -hmm. And they're expecting sixty-five percent of registered voters to watch this debate. Okay. It's going mm -hmm. to be very, very, very big. Could be bigger than the presidential debate. I think it's going to be. Somebody asked me in the Chinese buffet if I was registered to vote yesterday. You're yeah. registering at the buffet? I, apparently so. She said, asked me if I was registered. I guess while she was getting her buffet. She asked me, I said, well, yes, I am. Did she know who you were? No. 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 <laughs> you no. Mean, wow. So it's getting to be like that. That's actually interesting. Yeah, right off the street. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of interesting that people take a, 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 a personal interest. Because it's kind of a... No, oh, it's it's not a personal thing, but still, it's 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 odd for conversation for people that don't know each other. I said, Miss, I am. Yeah, would you hand me those tongs, please? I gotta get me a couple uh, yes, those um, Chinese donuts. Yes, <laughs> yes, I am. Now you now move out of where you're blocking them little corns. <laughs> I am. Um, I didn't. Pitted, so pitted. I didn't, Down goes Fraser. <laughs> I didn't get it. They all is corn. A little corn. Right. Okay. Oh. Oh, he did a Chinese buffet little yeah. corn joke? Oh. Yeah, because... What? Because they have those little tiny corn on the cobs? So, but then what? And she asked for who he's voting for, and he wanted corn on the cob. I can't. It's a person! There's a person stranded! There's a person stranded! There's a show! There's a show! <laughs> it's stranded! I can't even make fun of it. Yeah, I... I um, this is a rough one today, Sam. I... Told you. I mean, this is this is what's out there. The guy talking, the first guy, he's a weird, like old time woman voice. Yeah, like, like uh, yeah. That's how Vivian Vance probably sounded in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> well, Earl was on the debate team. He has a you hilarious. You went back to nineteen fifty five. Old lady, yes. <laughs> how did you know what year that was? And I love well, Lucy. I love Lucy. Yeah, yeah fifty two, fifty three. Got to guess the early fifties for that one. Right? Yeah, I'd still think Vivian Vance has two V's in it. Earl was on the debate team. He has a hilarious rebuttal here. Hilarious. Very funny. Junior, my junior year in high school, it was required that we actually had to do something as far as our civics class was concerned. So I like to talk, so I figured that would be the best thing to be on there. 
Um, I, we never really won, and basically all my arguments ended with your mama. <laughs> <laughs> However, um, uh, we can the gab that I so well sport today. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Uh, my rebuttal is, yo mama. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, nice <laughs> the hell was that? That could have been the fakest laugh. A lot of black guys ever. do that, man, that over the top. The white guy was laughing. That was yeah, a I white guy laughing? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Oh, I apologize to the black guy then. Yeah, it's the black guy's story. The black guy yeah. used to say, yo mama. Yo mama. Yeah. Right. But didn't he say, didn't he start the laughing thing? I think the white guy All right. was responding. Yeah. And I love the fact that she, I would love to hear that again because she put some energy in. Like I like like when he was saying, and and, I, and she went, uh-huh. Like she just jumps in. Like, <laughs> yeah. She has to let the audience know that the she's The job riveted. of the whole. Uh-huh. My junior year in high school, it was required that we actually had to do something as far as our civics class was concerned. What? So I like to talk, so I figured that would be the best thing to be on there. Um, I, we never really won, and basically all my arguments ended with your mama. <laughs> However, um... <laughs> Let's all do it. <laughs> it was just a noise. It came out of his mouth. There was no joy attached to that None. sound. None. <laughs> get the get the gab that I so well sport today. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Uh, my rebuttal is, yo mama. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Why do no, you, you like don't. that? What's for, what? Yeah, how could you, you like He just that? said it. Would well, just imagine like being in a debate and you make like a good point, and then somebody goes, yo mama. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's hard to do. Do we have E Rock do it? Yeah. Pat from Monaki is suggesting that uh, more sincerity and a laugh would be har har hardy har har. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> uh, AIDS effer is very mad at us today. He writes, "Stop what? saying she. It's a man." <laughs> mm. Yeah, that is awesome. Huh? Can you do that again? Ha 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 ha. There it is. Okay. Uh, Earl makes. Mm -hmm. Ha ha. <laughs> That was uh, Fred Flintstone when he was a superhero. <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> he watched the Flintstones when I was growing well, up. We all did, but we didn't pay that close attention. No, not that close. <laughs> uh, close attention. All morning now. What? <laughs> all morning. Uh, Earl makes a really good, specific, and relatable Movie reference? Yeah, you know how we all every, yeah. we do movie references on this show. Well, so they do too. You're making fun of their movie. Re have you ever heard this show and the movie references we come up with? Well, check out this one. All right. All kinds of weapons yeah. that nobody wants yeah. to see go into somebody else's hands. It's the really U.S. and Russian ships both came to help them deal with the some sixty pirate attacks that have followed along the uh, the east west shipping. Jeez, line. that's a lot. <laughs> It was like something out of a movie where they, they didn't... There was a movie about that one time where they st somebody stole something and they didn't know exactly what they had and it turned out to be something a bigger deal than what it was. Yes, That's Roots. Oh, boy, they picked on the wrong kid. <laughs> <laughs> What's the movie reference? I don't know. Somebody stole something. What was the movie reference? He doesn't remember <laughs> what movie it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was just a movie where somebody stole something and it was something else. And it was something else. Have you guys seen that movie? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. 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 Oof, wow. Like, like somebody stole a copy of this radio show and went to light it on fire on someone's porch. <laughs> <laughs> realized, oh, that's not what I thought it was. Dave from Philly, uh, she looks like a young Ronnie B. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Could see that, too. Of course, Ronnie B from the Ron and Fez show. Uh, a young Ronnie Hey, B. Nips. Hey, Nips. We're just about done. This is a rough one, Sam. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it's still helping our Jocktober, but this is what's out there. This is what this... this yep. The show is what this country is made of I in hate, terms of... This is like eating a bland food where you're just like, eh, yeah, all right, I'll have a little more. It's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah, exactly. Take it or leave it. Yeah, it could go either way. It's like, uh, it's just terrible. It's like the, the, the music in the back is really distracting. Yeah. Yeah. Constant, yeah. constantly. Yeah. Well, uh, the show continues to prove how intellectual they are by going nowhere with the conversation Jen brings up. Mm -hmm. All right. The last clip, thank God, yes. of uh, the PMS morning show. He said men seem to get turned on easier in the winter because they see less skin. Ah. Do you find yourself noticing more in the winter? 
Absolutely. I, I think so, yeah. I don't know. It's all one big blur to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, though. Mm-hmm. That's a good one, Jennifer. I like that. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a good I don't one. know that one. I have to think about that one. Tur- I don't know. You just turned on in general, Earl David Reed? Oh, no, yeah. they have nothing. <laughs> you don't have a particular time of year that no, you find all, women hey, more interesting? Oh, it's who, it's who season all year. <laughs> who? Uh, let me check. Yeah, the, hold on. Sheet, hold on. Everybody. Let me check my sheet. It's who season all year. Let me all see. Right, who season? Um, H-O-O, who? Uh, here's the definition. Any reference to a woman or her female parts... Um, as a, and then they spell it W H O L E because as, as a whole, you right. know, boy, and then and they use it in a sentence, boy, there was a lot of who at the hardware bar this weekend, uh, a lot of who. So you need a glossary to listen to the show. <laughs> yes. It's three pages of, uh, words that, uh, they wow. use. I can think of where there was a lot of a lot of boo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that should be the top of the list. The boo. <laughs> oh wow! A lot of boo. Then caster loser Carl. Yes, Carl. This is terrible. House of who? EDR's pet name for the hardware. Uh, hold on. Hard. CMN Children's Miracle Network, one of several charities that PMS works with. Annual marathon pay for play broadcast is a high point of the year. Last year raised over forty three thousand dollars. Wow. So they're charitable too. That's hmm. good. Yeah. Way in the back, by the way, there's uh, some little personal things about the show. Shade Mountain <laughs> where Jen lives with the dogs and her family. She won't let Nipsey visit. Oh, I bet you that's a running gag on the jeepers. show. Like, oh, Nipsey's, what am I going to come up to Shade Mountain since you live with dogs and the family? I'm sure another woman doesn't live there with you. <laughs> <laughs> when can I come and visit? <laughs> really? Or the, or the dogs, you get bull mastiffs and, and, and probably boxes of oven mitts. <laughs> Peanut butter. <laughs> she, <sighs> yeesh. She probably has an old school hairstyle down below, hence the, oh. <laughs> hence the shade. Ah, but look at this. Patrick Swayze. Earl and Nipsey often oh. disagree on who's a bigger fan of this 80s acting icon. I'll go with the white guy. Yeah, that's fan. what I'll go for. Yeah. Fan. All right, I think we're done with the PMS show. Yeah, the, they're our yeah, latest fun. addition to Jocktober. Yeah, what are you working on for tomorrow there, Sam? Oh, I don't know, but if anybody has any suggestions... Please email them to sam at opianthony.com. Okay. And that way uh, we could feature some of your favorite shows. Yeah, douchey show in your area. Yeah. Email Sam. Uh, he'll check it out, and uh, uh, we'll we'll play them for Jocktober. Yeah. Well, oh, by the way, out of breath, a tape of Jen running behind in a parade six years ago. Still played by Nipsey to this day. Nips won't let it go. Oh, he won't. <laughs> You know, quite the character. Yeah, well, you know, you let Nipsey get something to forget. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course, she's running behind in a parade, swinging her trunk, <laughs> <laughs> walking through the Midtown Tunnel. <laughs> Thanks. Just awful. Uh, oh wow, black or white? Mm-hmm. Game played on the show. Identify the famous person's race. It's always a fun mystery game to play. With mm-hmm. a famous person, <laughs> yes. meaning everybody immediately knows knows who it they, is, what they look like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, really. A uh, quick uh, Colin Powell. Uh, 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 how how would that ever work? I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to hear some of the. No, I wouldn't. No, no, no. We're done with this one. Yeah, no, Believe me, <clears throat> I don't want to hear anything from them ever again. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a quick break. Hey, do we have uh, Otto coming in today? Yeah. I do believe Otto oh, no. from Auto, Otto, Why is Otto he and George. Oh, maybe he is. He's, uh, I'm sure maybe he's on the list there. I don't know, he is. I didn't see it. And hopefully we're, we're going to have some uh, some uh, loot audio. Hopefully. <gasps> Thank oh, you, Sam. We missed something here. Good, good guys. Oh, oh no. go ahead, bless, Jimmy. Bless. Please. <laughs> we're still trying to make this bit work. Help us out. Flat screens. There's a rumor that Earl David Reed IMs people <laughs> from his hot tub and has an overabundance of flat screen TVs. What does that mean? <laughs> Come on now. Hey, he probably has a bunch of. And you could have done the laugh to make it good. Ha 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 ha! He has a bunch of. <laughs> Somebody said they saw a bunch of TVs at his house, and they didn't understand that it had nothing to do with with television. <laughs> Just a oh yes, of, <laughs> of course. A bunch of his non-passable gentleman friends. 
<laughs> well, she lives in the mountain, you know, with her roommate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, your aunt would come over. <laughs> yeah, well, this is her friend. Right. Her really? friend. Oh, we get it. Exactly. Her friend has a curly hair on yeah. the bridge of her nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dad, you, you know. have to kiss her hello and smell flounder. <laughs> right. Of course. But they're trying to keep they're trying to keep the secret. You're now like 20 years old, Dad. Oof. You know, stop. Yeah, I'm not stupid. And blank is a a blank blank. <laughs>